Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today our topic is about safe trading, predicting the stocks and cryptocurrencies. So the main topic is about Google Finance function and it doesn't work in other spreadsheets like Excel. We have to open our Google spreadsheet. So it's pretty easy in any browser you just write Google Google Sheets and just click on that it will navigate you here where I am so today I want to respond to the five questions which are crucial and the first one is how to use Google Finance function second one how to import data from a specific market exchange three how to import data from any market exchange four how to find the daily or weekly changes in price five how to show in dashboard so for each based on question and color i made here five separate sheets so i'm going to start from the first question how to use google finance function and i click here i have this how to use google finance function here so what is the structure of Google Finance? It is the structure of my Google Finance function. I did not put equal sign here. So here we have the function which is Google Finance. After that we have the ticker. What's the ticker? Ticker is the exchange marker symbol and ticker symbol symbol or stock symbol. We have stock symbols here. It's from Facebook, it's Amazon, it's Apple, it's Netflix, it's Alphabet, it's Tesla, it's Bitcoin, it's Ethereum, and it's fourth. And stock markets we have, there are like millions of stock markets, but the top 10 in the world are this top 10. NASDAQ from USA, New York Stock Exchange, Shanghai Stock Exchange, Hong Kong, Exchange, Japan Exchange Group, Shenzhen Stock Exchange, Euronext from Europe, London Stock Exchange Group, Bombay Stock Exchange, and Toronto Stock Exchange. And these are the symbols, symbols of markets. And this one is from Nasdaq, New York Stock Exchange, and Toronto Stock Exchange. So. The next one is attribute. Attribute are like the price, the price of pen, of where it's high or low, and so on. And we have a start date and end date. Our start date and end date it should follow uh, the same person, and the year should be the first after that, the month and the day at the end. The last one is interval. It can be daily or weekly so the next question we go to next question here how to import data from a specific market exchange so we are going to apply our formula here I'm going to select this and write equal sign Google Finance tab after that quotation I write the name of the market or the symbol of the market exchange which is NASDAQ colon I write the symbol of the Apple Apple quotation mark comma quotation mark now I write the attributes I write price quotation mark comma so now I type the start date bracket 2020 uh, July first 
close the bracket comma ended date open bracket 2020 December comma December 31 close the bracket comma quotation now I write the interval which is like I like try to weekly close quotation mark and close the bracket and enter now you can see it it is fine and I want to change the format I select this and I come here change it to uh, date and I just change this one to uh, currency you can see it works perfectly fine so I just it's pretty easy I can just copy this I, I don't want to write the entire formula for all of this I just copy select the formula control C and come here control V control V Control V, Control V. You can see, but here we I just click on this, and I just change the symbol of the stop here. Instead of Apple, I write here the symbol of alphabet, which is G double O G, and enter. You can see it works just fine and here for Ford I just I want to apply another market and also the symbol of four I just write right here in Y S E colon and F enter you can see it works perfectly so for this two and also I just change this the symbol of the stop FP enter and A N Z N you can see now I have imported from from a specific market like from Nasdaq and New York stock exchange and I have the Apple, Google, Ford, Facebook and Amazon so now uh, I want to go to the third question third question how to import data from any market exchange I want to I don't want to type my formula I just come here and copy my formula control C I just come here to question 3 again and I just control V control V and control V so here I just come here and delete the entire the market and also the symbol of the stock I, I, I write TS LA which is Tesla you can see it works perfectly and here I write BTC BTC which is the symbol of Bitcoin and this one ETH ETH the symbol of Ethereum enter you can see uh, one thing I want to men I want to mention that uh, these are the shares of the Ethereum and the share of the Bitcoin in some markets. These are not the price of one Ethereum or one Bitcoin. It is just a share, one share, one share from Ethereum and one share from Bitcoin. So 
the next one question four and how to find the daily or weekly changes in price i have from apple and google i just want to go to question two and copy the formula question two from google Control C Question 4 Control V and Control V Here I just change it Yeah, I have the Google here And I just change it to Apple Apple and Enter So now I want to find the changes between two weeks so because we are the ranges the interval is weekly so i want to find the changes between two weeks i just write here change and also write here change so i want to apply a formula here i write equal sign i divide the second last to the last one I divide this one the second last to the last one and minus one enter and when I click here it fill automatically yep you can see and also I want to apply that formula here equal sign the second last divide by the last one minus one and enter and also yes so i change this to the percentage i just click on this and so i select this and change it to percentage you can see here we can see the weekly changes here from this one to this one and this this week to this week this week to this week so we have found the changes and now we go to like apply it in dashboard here so now question 5 come here it's I want to find the visualization of the Netflix so I just go to question 2 and copy the one of the formula I don't I don't go anywhere so I just copy the formula control C question 5 I just come here control V and see now I just change the symbol of Apple to Netflix in if LX and enter you can see I have found it and I just changed the format I just come here and change it to date and this one I want, I want to change it to currency yes so now I want to find changes between two weeks I just write equal sign divide the second last by the last one minus one and enter I just can double click here it works just fine I select this and control shift down arrow I select this and from here change it to percentage so now it shows the weekly changes and now I want to apply this in a chart I just select these two column control shift down arrow and I come to insert and choose the chart yes it's my chart and I want to customize this I want to delete these grid lines and also these grid lines and I want to change this one just click on this and I come here minimum should be 400 100 enter you can see now my chart looks way better I can change again 400 
50. Now it looks way better and I want to close this. So it is my chart. I can move it here. Sometimes we invest here, sometimes we invest here. So it's hard to predict but whenever we use these techniques, if we have the visualization, if we have the data, we can predict the future of that stock, whether we should invest on that or not. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.